let me get it all together. First of all, <coughs> gotta take this off. This is walking outside in the morning. It's kind of windy out there with the doggy. Oh, putting my little goon cap on. Goon cap means it's a black, green, a little bit of red. I know you all think it's something else, but I'm just telling you what it is. You ask me, or you don't ask me, but I'll tell you anything. Oh, look at that. It's almost getting there. Got about another month, I guess. See? That Bell's palsy really did a job, but it's been almost a year. No, it hasn't been almost a year. I'm talking about it started in uh, March, whatever. February. Started in February, so we'll see. By the end of this month, maybe it will be back. My lips are almost back. Ah, I lost it. Why am I messing with you? Hey. Oh, almost ready. Oh, oh wait, got to get ready. Hope. Oh. Instagram, it's me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet. And today is a, uh, we change it well. Today is Sunday, and it's a, uh, it's a reading day. Well, I start off with a, with a reading. I start. I just, just started recently. What can I tell you? I started. Uh, was it last week that I did? Uh, oh yeah, uh, two weeks ago I did a uh, Harry Owen poem, and then last week I did a Henry Dumas poem. So it's only fitting, though, is that that's not true. So this week I did a Quinsava. I, 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 I'm going back to India. What I did started in India uh, on like Monday or like usually about a Tuesday. I write a Quinsava, then I work on it all week long. Then I presented on a Sunday at the open mic that they had at, um, at the Artist Cafe there in uh, Oroville. So anyway, I worked on a poem. Oh, that's the end of it. That's the other poem. Was that it? End of it. Oh, yeah, end of it. The end of it. Directions on here? That's it here. Then I had to do it. Then I wrote it. Then I write it. I write it on scrap paper. Well, I should start writing it in a book, I guess. But I write it on scrap paper because then I, then I write the poem in a book. <laughs> Second draft, we'll call it. You know, poets think that they, you just write something down and then you're done. No, you got to work on these things. Sometimes it takes years. I've been working on a, I've been working on a poem literally for years. Almost, I think almost started it. Well, I started it. Well, I, I presented it when I was in uh, Swaziland. Well, it's Swatini now, but when it was Swaziland, I did this whole, they started this poetry thing and I was there in the beginning. I mean, I'm there at the beginning of a lot of things. Anyway, so that first one that they had, I presented this poem. Now, how long ago was that? 2008? 2007? I don't know, something like that. So it's been a while. I've been working on that poem. I keep on working on that poem. Intermittent, intermittent, Ooh, the brother used a big word. Oh, here it is. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I made the... Okay, I made the... Okay, so... It started like this, right? And then on Wednesday, something like that, I did the poem. Anyway, I, I did the poem. For, it's for you on Instagram. I, well, it's a part of what I'm doing. It's for, part of what I'm posting. But now this is my live. And this is the Sunday. This is the... Latest alliteration. I won't be working on it. I, I, this is it for now. Well, this is it. <laughs> if I ever put it into some other thing, I might have to look through all the poems and start working with them. But, but a Kosava is like a, a, it's not like, it is a uh, 49 word poem. And it's uh, it's uh, seven lines to the poem. And it's seven words to a line. And no word can be over uh, seven letters, except for proper names. Um, so that's what it is. So I wrote this. This one, yeah. It's called the Kosaba. Uh, the ending of an it. The ending of an it. It's a uh, Konswa, uh, the uh, uh, Konsaba of expulsion. And then I have a. Well, it's gonna. I, anyway, I have. There's a there's an asterisk there because I, I explained this what the, the this. Uh, it's based on an Article Six petition to the United Nations. United Nations petition, right? Then I have here the, the URL that you go to to sign this petition. So this is a Kunsaba for uh, the ending of an it, a Kunsaba of expulsion. It has taken decades of pervert practice, of decline.
flare here with a sign there, they then lower the shadow of cast. They quickly follow with the class masking. Right now, we should have had enough. It be our time to arise beyond. Announce the pounce of an epoch liberty by the poets. Beginning of September. I always do these. I always like that thing when it says circa. <laughs> because literally, when you put something down, usually you've been thinking about it before, and even after you put it down, sometimes you have to do some work. So I say the beginning of September because that's what the, the round about the time I put it down, but I've also been working, thinking about it and working on it and all the rest of that stuff, okay? So that's what that's about. Uh, so let's look. Um, usually when I did this in India, I would go back and explain it because, of course, I was only seven Seven, 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 whatever it is, so I can explain. Uh, the ending of an. Oh, first of all, when I put D, well, you can't see this backwards for you. When I put D, D, E, that's owing to my uh, Gullah Geechee maternal side lineage, right? Because they don't say the, they said D. So now, when I, whenever I can, except for proper, I always write D instead of the. Why? I have an undergraduate degree in English literature, I can do anything I want. When you get it, the only thing of having a degree, you can say, oh, I know the rules. Now I can bend them, shape them, change them, uh, evolve them. You see? And like, there's a tradition in American, uh, well, well, in America, North, the wilderness of North American, <laughs> you know, the colonizers that came, to, you know, the settler colony that is the experiment of the United States of North America. That land. There's a tradition there, not tradition, there's a culture there that is informed by uh, those of us, those of us American uh, Africans who, you know, was, were, were captive or kidnapped, enslaved, whatever. We so we, and we, we without without us, you know, the lineaged <laughs> people, the lineaged American Africans. That's what I'm talking about. The lineaged American. Af I have to be lineage American African. It was that was uh, made in the Mount Haven section of the Bronx. So that's where my. That's where I was made, but before then I had lineage, actually on both sides. This is a whole thing. I just do no, my maternal side goes back to uh, to South Carolina, Gullah Geechee. My my great grandfather was a uh, Gullah Geechee was African, you know, and my great great my great grandmother uh, was a uh, full Mohawk Indian. There you go, right? Anyway, um, so D I always use that these days, these days. These days, I always use that these days uh, when I'm writing, especially, and uh, so that's why it says, so that's what the, the ending of an it, an it, I like the word it, because it's like very short, and sh like the ending of a punctuation, it's the ending of a, of a short period of time, right? that's what I'm saying, like, they call it, it's a quotable of expulsion, so now someone's going to be exploded, exposed, expelled. You know, it's, it's, it's not expel with an E, but it's expulsion with a, with, with a U there. Nah, no, it's not. See, I actually like the English language because I'd be messing around with it. Hey, if you're in it, you can uh, play with it. That's that's my thing. That's why, that's why, uh, that's why, uh, uh, like I say, lineage American uh, folks from, from, from have roots in Africa, right? That's why we change stuff all the time because uh, we're not satisfied with what this settler colonizer keeps on throwing at us. Because, you know, what they really do, a lot of cultures do this. They take the thing and then they take it and they try to cockatize it in their image and then they say they're the ones of it. They're the ones of the it. But they, well, we are the, well, the ones of the cockatized it. But the moving it, the, the, the how you say, the, 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 the it that keeps on giving, <laughs> The evolving it, that's us. It has taken decades, okay, decades, you know, decades, a pervert practice, a pervert practice. All these decades, all we witness is a perverted practice by the settler colonizers. Settler colonizers, you can call, uh, I'm saying settler colonizers, you can call them colonizers. Okay, let's call them colonizers for short. Let's not be sure. The settler colonizers, wherever they go, 
they take, they take, they conquer, they, they just then they destroy the, 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 what do you call it, the source, like it might be a piece of art, they'll take that source away, you know, and then they'll, they'll have it, right, they, they, now they've taken that, that source material and they squirreled it away someplace, right, and then what they do is they bring it out later and say, hey, look what we did, look, see our writing, we, 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 we proved, we wrote down that, so, so look what we did. In fact, let me say this, Blue Caviar, when, uh, when the, uh, what are those people, the, the, the people that's hit out in Afghanistan, the, the Saudi Arabian people, uh, uh, the, uh, the Osama bin Laden crew, right, that, that they're all, most Saudi Arabia, uh, Taliban, sorry, they, the whole Taliban thing, when they first hit, the thing that, uh, well, I don't care what your religious thing is, but I mean, if you're going to start destroying or whatever, have it, that's something else. So when they uh, destroyed those those huge, you'll see huge Buddhas, standing Buddhas, they destroyed them. When they did that, I'm going to like, no, not for, no. As you enter, as you're going to be, if you could destroy art, it means you could destroy the makers of that art, what that art represents. Of course, you destroy what that art really represents. You, you're trying to destroy history, it means you're trying to pervert history. Pervert practice, pervert practice. It has taken decades of pervert practice. I will declare here, I declare this land is mine. I declare it. You plant the flag. What does that mean? I'm declaring this to be mine. Well, there's a people around it. I'm, this, is a, this is a declaration. Unfortunately, a lot of us believe that these declarations are not mine. With a sign there. Sign just means, well, sign in the flag, also a sign where they get a document and they say sign, <laughs> sign here, right? And uh, of course, people don't know what that is, so they just, okay, you want me to sign? So I'll, I'll look at the, 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 all you gotta do is put your thing there, and then we have a witness, and they, they have their whole system. They've come with their, with, with their standard bearer, with their flag, boop, with their perverted practice, and now they're taking that perversion and putting it on you. Got it? Okay. They then lower the shadow of caste. Well, why can you do this? Well, because uh, we're different than you, and you are a lower caste than us. We, we, we are your masters. You know, we, we've cast you. We have put you in a caste, in a confinement. Now that you've defined, now that you've been defined by us, we now control your confinement. You have to sign this. You have to give away that. We'll take this. We'll take that. Because, well, because you are of a lower caste. You don't know what you're doing. I know thousands of years we work with this land, but we, 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 we come into, uh, uh, take this land to another level because you're of a higher caste than we are. Right? A quickly follow with the class masking. Now, wait a second. Oh, you don't understand the caste? Well, then, then in the, in the, within the caste, we said, well, I'm better than this, but I can do this, I can do that. So now they break it down to class. Oh no, what you, you're a merchant class. You're, you're intellectual class. You're, you're a lower class. So they have, then they, in the caste system, they got the class. Right? And then, then they bring out some intellectuals or some people. And they, they explain, oh, see, caste is a natural thing. And caste is something you have to live with. You know? Caste is this, uh, you know, ca class is that. Cast is this, class is that. Don't worry if you understand or not. Just follow the instructions. We, we've declared you follow the declaration that you signed. Follow me in all this, right? Okay. And I, of course, they class masking because it's a mask. You know, you you accept the mask of your class, which is within your caste. Sorry. Come on. Right now, we should have had enough. In other words, I just explained to you why we should have enough. They gave a declaration. They made you sign stuff you didn't know what the heck was going on. They put you in a cast. Then they put you in a class. Oh, no. They had you convinced that you should have a class within that cast or classes within that cast. Ain't you had enough of that? Th that? Ain't that enough? Oh, you need more? You need more. Sorry. It be our time to arise beyond. Now, originally I had to be out time to arise up. I just wanted to double down on the, you know, arise like that. And I said, no, 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 no. If 
after you rise up, you just what do you you may be up to, to maybe just fighting them, you know, um, physically or, or you know, or you maybe just up to just arguing with them. Maybe just up. I don't know. Maybe maybe just up, right? So I change it since the time I wrote it on Tuesday and performed it for you all on Wednesday, whatever it is, to arise up beyond. You're not even going to rise. You're going to go beyond. You know, basically, what I'm trying to do, look, here's what I'm saying here. I know it's poetry. You're supposed to interpret it yourself. And but I'm, I'm interpreting for, I'm, I'm reading it and interpreting it for myself right now. Right? When I say you're supposed to arise up beyond, when you go beyond, you're not listening to that. You're beyond that. So they're nonsense that they want to, to, to trap you in and to keep on fighting against. You know, they throw something and you got to re respond to that. You ignore that. That had nothing to do with me. I'm arising beyond that. Whatever you're throwing at me, I'm moving so fast. That thing just whiz, 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 whiz past me. <laughs> it just whizzed past me. I don't see it. I ain't felt it. I know nothing about what you're throwing out here. No, but you got to do that. You got to do what? I, I ain't got your message. It's about communication. Right? I've arisen beyond what you're throwing, right? Then I have this, uh, I start to do this because I, I, I've been, look, I used to go to Mexico every year. I spent, I've been in Guatemala, Panama, you know, there's a bunch of places. But what I like about like writing, writing uh, the, the, the uh, Spanish way is that a lot of times they'll like, if you have a, a, a question, right? So it starts out with the upside down question mark, but then you have a question, then a regular question mark. So you know it's a question when you're first seeing it in, especially if you're going to read it aloud. You know it's a question coming. I know usually with it, what, where, why, 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 but now you definitely know because you have an indication, right? So I've taken, now right now, this last sentence, I put an upside down exclamation point, which, which looks like an eye, but that's what it is, in the computer. Then the word I use is nounce. You know, so, uh, uh, it be our it be our time. It's a little again. Lydia is American, black, black. Lydia is American. So language there. Because we change the language all the time. It be our time to arise beyond. Then we then I make our declaration. Remember when we start out as taking taking the word practice of the of declare here. Now I'm making a declaration. You can make a declaration too. They be making declarations. What makes them? Just because the first person making the declaration made a declaration doesn't mean that you who've come beyond can't make declarations. Just because they, they, they started a debt culture has includes a declaration. But then over declarations, they, I don't know, their, their declarations don't evolve. I'm making an evolutionary declaration. It starts with a uh, nounce. Nounce. N-O-U-N-C. Nounce. It's a, it's a legal word. Doing nounce the pounce of an epoch liberty. My declaration is I'm announcing the pounce, the fight for an epoch liberty, a liberty of this time space, but also epoch. It's a, it's a nice little ring to it. Could mean, it, could mean an epic, could have a grand liberty, the ultimate liberty. The Aluta Continua, Continua, Continua pounced. Liberty. So anyway, that's the uh, that's the reading for today. I don't know what I'm gonna read next week, but but so I, but I had, that was three poems in a row. Don't worry about it. I got you next week. I'll find a I'll find something that's that's not poetic because poetry might be hard to. Oh yeah, and, and, and this poem also uh, when I post uh, when I post this up, I'll, I'll put in the uh, URL to sign. That's what I'm just called Article Six. Article six is a is a, is a uh, petition sent to the UN that uh, basically you're trying to kick well to kick the U.S. off of the to stop the to stop the U.S. from vetoing everything. You got to make them like everybody else. Right now they're beyond everybody else. They bully they bully everybody else with their veto and all this stuff. So this 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 uh, petition it's a uh, it's to evoke Article six to expel the U.S. from the United States. The move is to expel the U.S. from the United States because. Well, they don't belong there. Well, we, we, it's not a, it's not an organization for bullies. And remember when they started the thing in 1945, or whenever they, 46, or whenever they started it, 
you know, since they was the bee's knees at the time, they could make all the rules. A lot of rules had to do with the finance, stuff like that. A lot of times you have people say, well, if you kick me out of your cell, sir, house, then you won't bring no money. Oh, please. If you kick them out, then the justice we've done all over the world and all of the nations that, they, that, 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 that the United States has held, in, it, uh, held hostage <laughs> through a veto and military, well, now they'd be freed up to uh, do their own minerals and they could pay their own dues and whatever have it. Anyway, so you just go to this, the URL, uh, HTTPS, uh, colon, back, slash, slash, right? www.change.org, slash, P, as in uh, petition, slash, invoke, I, as in indigo, N, V, as in Victor, OK, as in knife, knife, E, dash, Article A R T I C L E dash six dash and A N D dash expel E X P E L dash T H E C right uh, dash U S as United States dash from F R O M dash V T H E dash United U N I T E D nations. That's it. Okay. But I'll, I'll try to type it in the thing so you can see that. Okay, so that's what it's about. But some, 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 some announcements. Uh, I had just um, these tirades started, well, uh, last month I've been doing tirade a day. But I just realized, not I just realized, I, I noticed before. Years ago I started, uh, I had these uh, tirades, they were, they were three times a week. So this is like the second alliteration, of, but I want to go back to just three times a week. I want to give a tirade on a Sunday, like like this, like the first day of the week, Sunday, and then that'll have a it'll have to start off with a with a with some sort of literary thing. I'll give it on Tuesday, which deals with I'm saying U.S. politics, but I'm, I'm, I might expand it to world. Well, it all is one thing, but politics, politics somehow the politics, right? And then on uh, on uh, what do you call that? Uh, Friday, and Friday will be a week wrap up. So it'll be every Sunday, uh, Tuesday, and Friday. You know what I want? Did I do the? Uh, no, uh, yeah, that that that'll be the, the week. The stuff that I missed throughout the week is something that's just going through my head, right? But say, but brother, what about the audio drama uh, tirade? Well, that'll just be ongoing. I'll, I'll do that. I'll see what happens with that. But those are the official three tirades will be then. And also, just uh, let's you just uh, breaking news, or not so breaking news because it happened earlier this week. I had a plan to go to the States, and I'm not going to the States. But you're going through something. The CDC got, got you by the short strings again. The CDC is, is dictating to you, what you how your behavior should be. Good luck with that. I'm glad I don't have to go through that drama. So I won't be there. And that means I spent two months here, which means that I'm stepping up the audio drama game. I mean, we're really going to, uh, my audio drama, well, well, we'll talk about that when we get to audio drama. Uh, so that means I, I, I can double down, triple down, nail everything down here before I go to India in, in January, which means that I got some work to do, you know? See, one of the things I wanted to go to the States for, I wanted to pick, I did some books, I did some books I wanted to get. One is Lloyd Strayhorn's uh, Numbers in Europe, I guess the most up to date. I got the original, or had the original, who knows where it's from. I think I still have it. I had the original a long time ago because I used to hang out with Lloyd in the 80s. And when I say hang out, I just went, you know, I went to some, some of his lectures, his classes, whatever it happened. I listened to him on, on LIB, and, uh, you know, his regular thing on LIB. So uh, so he's still around, and I want to get his new book because I, I, I do numbers tangentially. No, I do numbers on the periphery. I do numbers like a parlor game. So like, for instance, this is a, we're in September. This is a, a, this is a, a nine month. This nine is a thing for... For endings, usually for endings, you wrap things up. So I'm wrapping things up here because next month, ten, the month of October, is we call a preview month for the next, the entire next year. Also, so one. So you start new things then. So I'm sort of pre prepping things now, and then I'm really jump into it in October, then November to three blast off December, right? To have those three months to really get these things solid. So when I'm left, that, that they can be, be going on their own. So when I come back, I can jump on it again, make sure they've done 
they supposed to do. Let's put it that way. Because sometimes you're hanging out with a bunch of no, 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 no. And my people is a group. So that's what we're doing. Uh, uh, and then, then things happen that way, right? So that's what we're doing. Uh, and I, I talked to you on, uh, well, this is a tea tirade. Tirade is series of poetry. I'm tirade. Uh, uh, the next one will be Tuesday. It will be political tirade. Oh, I know what it's going to be already. It's just going to be a doozy. You should listen to that. Okay. And I, I sometimes I post, I think I'm going to really just calm, tamp down on the in, on the social media for this month, just ending and just just chill out, chill out. I'm gonna use it a different way in October, so I'm not gonna really post it that much. I'll, I'll post little things, but I won't do these long tirades or these long things that go with this. And eventually, that's put onto my YouTube as as historical as archival material. See, that's all this works. Is. I, look, I'm a communications person, but I got actually have an undergraduate degree in communications, so I can do stuff that you. Have to respect. No, I said you don't have to do anything. Okay. Anyway, enough.